We got somebody calling in about uh, the return of Ted Lasso. Check it out. Hey, John and crew. This is Tyler from Oklahoma. Ted Lasso Season 3 comes back this week, and I am super excited for it. Kind of wondering what plot lines you might want to see from the show this season, John. I would love to see Sam Obasanya get called up to the Nigerian national team. I think it would be cool to see Rexa make a deep FA Cup run. And, of course, what are they going to do with Nate? I think he needs to suffer, but are they going to redeem him? I don't know. I'm super excited for the show. Can't wait to watch it on Wednesday. Just wanted to hear your thoughts on that. All right. Thanks, you guys. Y'all have a good one. All right. Thanks a lot for calling that in, Tyler. And you know what? Ann and I, we finished dinner. And uh, Ann wasn't feeling so great last night, so we were just going to hang in. So we were just cozed up on the couch. I got my tablet open, whatever. And all of a sudden she goes, oh, wait, they already dropped Ted Lasso. I'm like, what? Yeah, they already dropped Ted Lasso. I'm all right. Give me a second. Get on Instacart. Order some chips and ice cream. <laughs> that shows up in 30 minutes. And we're like, all right, we're all set. Let's settle in. And we watch. Listen, I love Ted Lasso. I love this show. It's just, you know, it's it, every once in a while, you need a show or a movie where it's just good people doing good things. And until Nate, there was no bad guy of the show, really. Like th there was, you know, yeah, there was her ex-husband who used to be the owner of the team, but that, he never really played a big role in the show. It was just a show about good people being good. I, I mean, and there's something about that. It's one of the reasons why I love Lupita Nyong'o's film, The Queen of Cotway. Mm -hmm. Just every once in a while, this human soul just needs stories about good people doing good things. And that's one of the reasons why I love Ted Lasso. And we came into now the new, the season premiere. All right. I didn't love it. Didn't love the season premiere. I still liked it. I didn't love it. But it's very reminiscent to me of how I felt about the season one premiere and the season two premiere. I didn't love the season one premiere either. And I didn't love the season two premiere either. And I realized that those episodes really are just setting up the world that is to come this season. And that's what this really is. This episode that they dropped for Ted Lasso season for the new season. It, the whole first episode is setting up what you can see the storylines of the season are going to be. And there are some very nice moments. You know, Ted does his traditional coaches press conference and it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, listen, something I've been saying for over a year since the last season ended was there is no character in film or television or literature that I want to see ripped apart by dogs as much as Nate. And Nate needs to die horribly. Will Ferrell's dog from Strays needs to bite his dick off and, and anything else. They could just write him off. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, no, no, that character's got to suffer. That character has to die after all that Ted did for him. He has to die. Anyway, uh, they clearly show that's going to be a big point of stuff here. There's, uh, I mean, just one line. Without context, you'll have no idea what this means. The dummy line. Just realize, oh yeah, Nate's a real dick. Nate's a real dick. But in this episode, you really do see how Ted is going to handle Nate. And it is the Ted thing. And it's not what I want. I want to see Nate again. I, I want to see him get hit by a car, have a broken leg in the middle of the wilderness, and then a pack of wild wolves find him. Like, that's that's what I want to Reasonable. see. Is that a little morbid? Maybe I'm going a little bit morbid. But the, I really would love to see that. But uh, whatever. Then we get the Kaylee stuff and then the boss stuff. Uh, a couple of the players. I mean, they really set up a lot of lines. Roy Kent's storyline with Keeley. That's all being set up. Um, I didn't. I don't love what they're doing with Roy Kent and Keeley. I won't go into details to say I don't. I don't really like the way they're setting that up right now. But whatever. Put that aside. It was just nice to have this show back, and I forgot how much I missed it until we hit play, and that opening credit scenes of yeah, <laughs> right. I mean, then we're like. This feels good just to sit down and watch this show again. So Ted Lasso's back. Chris, did you have a chance to watch the new Ted oh, Lasso yeah. episode? What did you think Apple's about it? Because reasonable and they drop their shows at a decent time. Yes, I, I like that. I appreciate and love them. No um, midnight releases no, for them. No, no. Like 6 p.m. I get a little notification on my watch. I'm like, hell yeah, let's watch this. I think it's a great episode and it does do what you were talking about. It's setting up what's to come this season and that end moment, that end scene basically we have with Ted is where it's, okay, here we go. 
this is what I come to this show for, this kind of energy. And I'm really excited to see where this is all going. I'm with you. I'm not loving the Keely Roy stuff, um, but I am loving how some of the other players are changing yeah. and taking on more Ted-like roles. I think that's really, really cool because that's what you want to see in this show. His whole point from season one, right, is make an impact make an impact and change these players for the better. And you're seeing that in really big ways with some characters that are pretty surprising, actually. Um, it's so, so well done. I love it. I want more weird Coach Beard stuff. And yeah, <laughs> Nate, Nate the Great has become Nate the Snake, and I hate him so much. <laughs> oh, I just, oh. I just have a different take on him. Like, he's the kind of toxic person who's just going to unravel himself. Oh, he will. He's insecure. Yeah. He's been walked on his whole life. And then he got a taste of like. Like a tiny bit of power. A, a power and success. And then it went to his head. And now he'll just unravel and destroy himself. Oh, and it's all going to bite him in the ass. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But I can't wait for that moment because it's going to be delicious. That, that's just how I treat people in my own life. I'm like. You're too toxic. You're going to destroy yourself. I'm not but, worried I mean, about you. I mean, like, you don't have I to remember, say that on air that that's how you talk to me, Jonathan. <laughs> I, mean. I was talking to a friend of mine, like, in the last season, when you find out it was Nate who leaked the um, uh, the panic attack, Ted's panic attack stuff, to the press. Mm -hmm. I liken that onto, and, and a lot of people watching this are going to be too young to remember this, but it, it, and you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. But it reminded me very much. It was the living example of Brutus the Barber Beefcake's Barbershop. <laughs> when Marty Jannetty standing there all unsuspecting and this weasel Shawn Michaels throw, like clobbers him and throws him through the barbershop window. A lot of you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. But that was the exact <laughs> <a> good thing. <laughs> living representation of what Nate did to Ted. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Did you have a chance to watch the new episode, the season three premiere of Ted Lasso? If so, what did you think about it? Whatever you guys thought, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. You guys know I made the switch over to Mint Mobile a while ago. The process couldn't have been easier and I can't believe that I am spending less than a third of what I was spending on one of the other major carriers before. By going online only and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia that's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia